Greetings! My name is Joe Bob and I'm very peeved. Welcome back to, well, guess. <laughs> Today I can't walk because, or can hardly walk because of excruciating pain, so let's play some pathologic, shall we? Yeah, last time we ran around for a while, didn't really get much done, but we did get moolah. And also we broke into someone's house. Also, you may notice that I am slightly more well off for, uh, today. That's because I did do what I mentioned last time and just loaded a save so I could take advantage of the arbitrage. Is that the right term? Well, take advantage of the inflation, rather. <laughs> Bought a load of shit, traded for some stuff, traded like all of my water for some bandages and tourniquets, which I then sold. Late the next day, and then I got even more water. Like, my god, if, if it wasn't for the fact that those guys who who want water almost never actually have anything, they'd be a great source of tourniquets and bandages. Also, I learned that this shop in particular, at least today, s uh, buys stuff for way more than the others. Like, over here I was able to sell, uh, I think it was Meridorm for 450 here I sold it for 600 <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, so that was quite advantageous. This bozo. Yeah, look at all the stuff I sold him. He also sells needles and hooks, which... Pretty cheap, and... And can be... And... and and it can be bartered with the villagers. I don't know if I'm actually going to buy them. Mm. Eh, whatever, I'm loaded. Why not? You never know when they might sell something very valuable, like, I don't know, Schmouder. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I still have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do. I guess I could wander around looking for cutthroats and cut their throats. Yeah, I guess I'll just wander around then. Uh, I'll get back to you if I actually find anything important or interesting or anything. Wait, hang on. Oh, I just remembered I do have a lockpick now. Maybe I could... This is a nice three-story house. Maybe I should go for it. Three... I think it's three-story. Looks three-story. Time to rob the place, I guess. That seems to be what I do, I guess. Ooh. Nice. What was that? Smoked meat. Ooh. This meat was cooked a month ago. Very nutritious and filling. It's very popular among town folk and thus relatively hard to combine nowadays. Well, good thing I was able to snag it. Where the fuck did she go? Fiery. Strong infusion. Boosts immunity. Acts as an analgesic. Restores strength during sleep. Okay, so it's like Meridorm and also like the Alpha Tablets combined into one. I guess. Sounds useful. Hey. What a grisly painting to have on your wall. My goodness. Come on, go up. Oh, there is no second floor. That's unfortunate. But there is a big ass third floor, so. Assuming I can actually go into these rooms. Yo, it's got anything to trade? I don't think I- Oh, yeah, I do have- Alright, alpha tablets. Uh... Do I care about those enough to spend my- Stuff on them? I've got- How many do I have? I've got 11. I'm not certain I- I have a pressing need for more than 11. I might, but- I'm sure I can find more, if I do need them. They seem to be everywhere. Mm, aside from the meat, I haven't really found anything. Alright. Oh, fuck! Ow! Damn it. Uh, 
Crack those. More alpha tablets, see? What I was talking about? Oh no. Oh, they're not doing much damage. Yeah, okay. This place didn't really have much. I don't think it was worth the, the lockpick. This is a weird game. I mean, I'm a doctor trying to deal with the whole uh, disease outbreak that's gonna happen. <laughs> Instead of, you know, doing anything like that, I'm sizing up which houses are the best ones to rob. Look at this, 124 to repair 4% durability. That's highway robbery. Seriously, what the fuck am I doing? Why? Why am I going around robbing people? Why is that a <laughs> gameplay? Why does that seem to be a core gameplay thing? This is a strange game. I mean, it's either this or wander around aimlessly trying to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do. Although I'm probably gonna have to do that anyways. Maybe I shouldn't be wearing these, honestly. It's just wearing out the durability for no apparent gain. Later, when I actually have contact with infected services, be useful, but... Kind of make strategic decisions, but, the, but that's sort of stymied by the fact that I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. What was that stuff we was talking about last uh, last episode? About the letter. I don't remember getting any letter. When would I even have gotten a letter? Alright, let's run around and hope that I encounter a cutthroat that I can kill. Or moolah. Or something. Is there anything I care okay to buy from him? Walnut. One could exchange a large walnut for something valuable. Currency among children. Sure. It's cheap. Yeah. Seems like the name of the game when it comes to the economy here is, buy is buying or scrounging up value uh, cheap items that can be traded and then trading them for more valuable stuff. Like this water, which is seems to be mostly worthless outside of bartering with these guys because... I mean, yeah, it reduces hunger a little, but it also increases exhaustion. But I don't think it's worth it unless you really need food. I mean, the problem is that, I mean, it decreases hunger at the, it decreases hunger at the cost of exhaustion. But the main uh, sleeping, which is the main way to decrease exhaustion increases hunger, so... Mm. Another cutthroat. Damn it! Oh fuck. Yeah, that's right. What? What the fuck was that? Mm. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that, what the fuck that was doing. All right, a lockpick. Yes. The see. Oh, sorry. That seemed like the most valuable commodity. Lockpicks. Let's see. Let's stop by Laura Revel, see if she has anything to say. Right now, all I want, to want is to sleep, sleep, sleep. Whatever happens tomorrow, do come by, I'll show you my house. Your dreams, Laura. Guess I come around by noon, okay. We know something's gonna come go down at noon, I guess. Alright, that's... Oh, we started. Nice pop in. Is that another throat? Ah, fuck. See. Okay, I hit him, but didn't seem to do much. Oh. Ooh, bread. Yes. The bread of God is bread. 
Finally. Another lockpick. Oh, wow. Where shall I rob next, then? <laughs> Yulia... Yuricheva... I... Have I been there? I... Oh, hi. What? Oh shit, two of them! No! Damn it! How is it that if I'm not right on top of them, they completely avoid damage, but they can hit me when I'm fucking ages away? Oh, Jesus Christ. Lockpick and some cash. And some cash. Okay. Why can't I pick up their knives? It's so stupid. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Basically, any damage will kill me now. Jesus. Look at my exhaustion. Maybe once I finish looting this place, I should go take a nap and try to restore my HP. I don't like you. So, have you defeated the foe? Found the root of evil? I mean, like, by the way, there was an accident once. <coughs> happened to a mate of mine. Molagog. What happened to this worthy man? Well, you see, he broke a leg once, right? Also got himself kidney pains. It was early spring, March or so. Then he went off to gather them wart. It was high time for them. Said he'd sell them so they're made into potions. That is, twirene. Otherwise, they're pretty worthless. Wait a minute. He went to gather wart with a broken leg? That's the point. That's the point when he broke it. Uh, obviously, he went to gather herbs unbroken. Running around regardless uh, uh, of whether you're even whole or all in pieces is a modern thing. Things used to be different back then. What does it have to do with the turn skin? Stop interrupting me then. He wandered far up. Darkness fell and all. So he thought he should get back. And then he feels something like has grabbed his leg. And it's all dark. So he thought maybe he's grabbed too many herbs and roots. So the earth wouldn't let him go. He took the best ones too. The juiciest. <laughs> well, what is it? What was it? He looks down. And there's something holding him. Something hand-like. Like a hand. Yes, that is what hand-like means. Doesn't seem like a root at all. Holding him fast. Trying to get his ankle. And then he sees that it's a bone hand for real. So it was him, the Shabnak. So my mate tried to break free and run off. Came back home and saw his leg was broken. How did he only notice that his leg was broken after he got ran, uh, ran all the way home? What? I see. So why the hell did you feel the need to waste my time telling me all that? Well, he got sick, right? So it's all medical stuff. You're a medic. It's useful stuff for you. See? You moron. <laughs> yeah, that about says it all. Maybe if I... Okay, here we go. Well, the only lead I have at the moment is that I need to go back there at noon. 4.35. That looks like about 3 or 4... Like 3 or 4 hours, maybe 3 and a half. Of sleep. Worth of exhaustion. No matter. I'd like to go there. Yeah. Okay, I'll swing by the town hall. Maybe the lump. Maybe this guy as well. And then swing by there. I wonder if Ruben's back there. I should check up on him. He did say he was gathering stuff. Alright. As for the lockpick, well, I'll keep that in reserve for now. Come on. Come on, die! 
What is with some of these guys <laughs> having such ridiculous amounts of health? Uh, and such ridiculously long death animations, bloody hell. Well, at least I'm getting filthy rich, probably. <sighs> Though if the inflation continues, this money won't mean much. Got anything to say? Aha, you do! Beasts. I shouldn't have indulged their whims. You're thinking of leaving this inhospitable place, aren't you? Old Cain and his whims must be getting on your nerves already. <laughs> I like Che. Okay. I understand his motives and hold no grudges. Furthermore, he's a charming niece. Oh, I should have talked to the niece, damn it. Well, it, well, anyway, it wasn't I that is ordered to shut the station down. Someone shut the station down? What? I feel like I'm miss. I feel like. Uh, this game thinks that I have more information than I do at all, uh, at like all times. <laughs> the order came from the Crucible. You see, Kane does have the right, even though I am and have always been in charge of tr the train services. So that is rather disrespectful. Are you implying that you could have helped me find a vehicle if not for Kane abusing his power? Why does this- why does this sit well with you? Well, gee, who knows? Maybe the fact that it's disrespectful for him to take over command of something that he's always been in charge with? What the kind of question is that? Yes. Why? It's a matter of respect. Don't get me wrong. I don't like Kane taking over my domain, even if he does technically have the right to. I understand family sentiments. Going after the killer is a rather honorable endeavor, but I have the feeling this killer won't be leaving the town by train. I I have a suspicion that there might be an epidemic. Have you heard about it? Right. Let's get this settled straight away and not come back to this subject again. I am a businessman. Working business. I work with facts rather than ideas, suspicions, or theories. I'll help you leave the town as soon as you find a way to calm Kane down. What's in this for you? The noise that has been raised around this situation is unpleasant and disadvantageous to me. Why? Pray forgive me. You're asking too many questions. You, you have come to see Simon. Simon is dead. You are more than eager to get back to your research. I want to help you because this is my duty as a ruler and as a local minister of transport, so to speak. I think it's pretty straightforward. I don't suppose you are aware of the orders that I received this morning. I'm not aware of the orders that I received this morning. What are you talking about? My duty now is to stay here until the threat of endemic is neutralized. What? When did- when was this established? Okay. I don't know anything about that. Make up your mind. I already have. Yeah, this is where the game takes place. So I've gotta stay here, I guess. Why are my children like this? <laughs> I think, uh, I'm sure all fathers have asked that question of themselves at some point. The town is in danger. There may be an epidemic. I don't want to believe that. And I won't believe that to the very end, Doctor. Seems like everyone's saying that. I mean, it's, I mean, sort of. I mean, it's fair that they wouldn't immediately believe me since I don't exactly have any proof. But come on. But why? There is a certain political subtlety to this. If you're right, my dear doctor, the labor of our life is condemned, as our judge likes to say. Well, not necessarily. You could, if you act fast, this epidemic could probably s still be contained. I mean, by the sounds of it, it may uh, it, it, it already mostly has been. We just gotta hunt down anyone who's, who's got, uh, who's been infected by Isidore, and that, and then the, uh, the epidemic in, in the, uh, the termitary has already been sealed up, so the epidemic should burn itself out in there. Seems very straightforward. If you would just comply with basic safety standards, I'm not asking you to fucking make everyone stay indoors all day and not go in- <laughs> and not uh, conglomerate into groups of more than six or some stupid shit like that. Uh, nor am I asking you to have them um, wear 
completely ineffective face coverings or some or something like that. I'm just asking for your aid in tracking down anyone who might be infected and quarantining them. And so we can study them. See if we can find a cure. Or, failing that, let the disease burn itself out. It's not... Uh, <clears throat> be tracking down... <laughs> whatever. I mean, wait a minute. Why, why can't we just examine Isidore's body? He's- uh, that's all I- uh, that's all I'm asking you right now. Just let me examine Isidore's body and we can see if he has the plague. <laughs> and then we'll know. But uh, no. They've always got to be as unhelpful as possible. Let's wait and see. Ruben is working on Simon, isn't he? He is. No troubling news from him so far. If I'm right and you keep sitting on your hands, you'll be condemned regardless of whether you admit to my rightness or not. If you do, we will have a chance to curb the threat. And you are willing to risk the lives of the people that have committed themselves to your cause and position for political subtleties? If I admit to your rightness, I might as well put together my last will. But no! Do you understand? Of course you don't. No, I don't! Because you're being ridiculous! Unfortunately, I cannot explain this to you. That is what our cur the current power landscape dictates. I mean, I'm not like that fucking dumbass investigator in, uh, over in, in Hideaway where he was demanding that everyone ru uh, abandon the damn place <laughs> For on, based on suspicions. Whatever. You will come to regret it. Well. Whatever. Well, that may have been a complete waste of time, but at least something happened. Let's check on... Reuben. That old Rube. And then maybe we can nip on over to Eva Jan's house to get some sleep. I can heal. Also have dinner. I don't need to go there to have dinner, but I might as well. It's not like it's a pressing matter at the moment. And I've gone the wrong way. Ah, fuck. Thought I could slip through there. In a fair world, I would be able to. But this is not a fair world. Ah, good, you are in. You are tall. A long time to find me here. What? What does that mean? Now is not a good time to talk. However important the matter. Nothing important, I'm just doing the rounds. Oh, I guess. But what was that about of not finding you here? What? That was a very strange thing to say. I might as well load the previous save since that was a waste of time. I guess that it's technically true that I am just doing the rounds. God damn it, I was hoping you would have more to say, Denkovsky. Mm. Huh. Yes! Another lockpick! That makes two now. Huh. Weird that they can't back. Hi. Stand safe from the cutthroats. Did you Aha. hear that? Did it come from inside the well? Or am I getting the jitters? <laughs> don't talk don't talk to me about wells, man. I I went cold turkey on them ages ago. I'll have to figure out how to keep on living. Indeed. <laughs> Tell me, Master Vlad, do you believe that we're facing a real epidemic hazard? I still don't understand how you came to the conclusion that the disease which killed Simon is contagious. Because most diseases are contagious? And also the fact that it that he caught it from Isidore, who caught it from the territory. Why wouldn't it be contagious? Even if we assume that the rumors of a death carrier are nothing but rumors, which I doubt. Oh, I thought that was a <laughs> thing that. What do you mean death carrier? What rumors? Hmm. There has already been an outbreak of an unknown disease in your town. Not even unknown, we know the name. Sand Pest, or Sand Plague, rather. Why did I say Sand Pest? Uh, I used to occasionally communicate with Isidore Burke, the man who put an end to it. But I'm sure Isidore never told you about this. The brief encounter with the Sand Plague put him in a state of primal terror. Did you know that? I wouldn't be surprised, but okay, what does that have to do with anything? His opinion of his role in stopping the outbreak was not very high and he ascribed that victory solely to circumstance. 
Yes, I'm sure he would put himself down like that, but I'm sure he had more impact than he uh, than he would claim. It's strange he didn't suspect anything when examining Simon. Wait, what? What do you mean? What a weird thing to say. If you're right, Bachelor, and there really is going to be a sand plague epidemic in this town, there will be no stopping it. You don't need to waste your life, and you cannot help us in any way. Your only goal is to survive until the station is reopened. But why? Even if there's no cure, we can at least... Uh, we can at least quarantine it. Or, if, if failing that, quarantine the healthy people... <laughs> There's stuff, there is, there are steps to be taken, regardless of, I mean, if I can survive, surely other people can too, if nothing else. Yeah, peculiar fatalism. Are you saying that the services of an educated medic won't be of any help to you? Education is of no use here. Bullshit. Isidore may have had no medical education, but he managed to drive the demon back to hell. Yes, now think what someone with with actual medical education might be able to do. By the way, he mentioned that one can't beat the plague by traditional means. Then we'll just have to use non-traditional means. Not It's not like education will be useless there. Part of education is learning how to learn, you know? Learning, uh, honing your intuition. Hon uh, knowing what, and knowing the traditional means gives you a good sense of, of what Eat what not to do, if nothing else. <laughs> well, what means can it be beaten with, then? It cannot be beaten. Is it, then why did you specify traditional means, then? Isidore is a wise man. He was born here and knew many things that no education can provide. And I know many things that no... lack of education can provide. Bachelor, your goal is to survive. Save your talent for the capital. Leave this place. My father will be happy to assist you. Thanks for your advice, but I will decide what to do with my talent on my own. Did Anyone you want to say? That? Nope. Oh, that's singularly unhelpful. Whoa, eight! I didn't even realize I had that many. Have you got anything new to say? If Simon's yes, actually. Body is vulnerable to the murderer the whole town is is it true the thing you found out you don't have to comfort me just tell me if it's true is there a hope you're wrong I've learned a lot of things in the last couple days that i would never consider to be true before the sand dirt is it true has simon died of the sand pest oh it is called the sand pest why did I don't remember hearing it be called that before. That's weird. My co uh, my colleague Ruben suspects as much. Anyway, he has. Why are you so scared? The means to run away from here, Daniil. Immediately. Even if we have to move exclusively by foot, we need to go now. We will die in the step, of course, but at least it won't be ex as excruciating. Yeah, I can't can't leave, Eva, but I can help you leave. No, I won't leave this place without you, but we can't stay here. I'm not afraid of death, you know. I once jumped off a building site and only survived by a miracle. That's rather grim. But I don't want to die of this. Please, let us all leave. <laughs> you know, uh, you've only known me for a few hours. So what? What do you suggest? A freight train full of meat. Leather and raw materials depart from the station every month. Women of the kin bear a bit of farewell with sorrowful songs in mourning. That's the ritual. Curious, I'd like to have a look at it. Living people are forbidden to get on that train. The only person allowed to come aboard is the deaf and dumb Odong driver. Only he can guide the train through the step. An, uh, an Odong? Who is that? An Odong means he who holds him by the horns. That's what the people that bring in the poles from the step are called. Can we bargain with the driver? No, he's deaf and dumb. Well, doesn't mean he's blind, but I guess he might be illiterate. Moreover, he's not quite a man. His position is sacred to him. There is a way out, though. I think I know of a man who could intimidate even a deaf and dumb Odon. Who is it? Andre Stamaton, the architect. He's a very menacing and strong man. 
He treats me in a slightly condescending manner, but you can speak to him on my behalf. He won't refuse, and I think even Andre doesn't want to rot at the Sand Plague. Okay, I'll relay your request to him. Can you feel how rapid my heart- Okay. Okay, so we at least- so finally, we have an objective beyond wait. Alright, right. speaking of waiting... This- let's, uh, do some drugs. Okay, uh... Let's eat. Bread. Seems good. Crackers. Uh, those are a good source of food. I don't know. I don't- I don't- they don't seem to be traded with anyone, so I might as well use crackers, I suppose. I don't want to accidentally eat that, so... Uh... What the rest? Dried fish. Is that a good source of food? I don't know. Yes! Alright. Well... Alright, now let's, uh, take the Meridorm. Let's see, how much does my health increase after a while? That much? What if I take multiple, though? There. So much more. Infected yesterday, 29 people died yesterday, 11 people gone missing, 6 total death toll, 22 currently infected, 23. It all ends in less than 11 days. What? In which the actually the restructure authority is equal and accepts emergency powers. What? What? That was a lot of information to suddenly dump on me. What? What the fuck just happened? Uh. Okay, so that's a thing. People are dying. It all ends in eleven days, and also I'm gonna t going to take emergency powers. What? 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 Well, you'll find the the question, the answer to all those questions next time. Until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And th this game just handed me a killer cliffhanger, literally. So long, suckers.